Is this thing on yet? So yeah, uh, uh video log diary, star date, fucking 16.11.2021, what year is this? So what's new in Audio Storm World? Um, new part shortages. Um, but yeah, I'm ahead of the game, I'm ahead of the curve. I have beggared and made myself incredibly broke and spent all the money I don't have and flashed my credit card at the big shiny people and made sure to send me all the stuff. So a lot of stuff has arrived. So yeah, we, we've got parts shortages incoming again. Um, but I'm trying to make sure you guys don't even know that happens. So I have hundreds and hundreds of jack sockets. I have as many cases and enclosures as I can afford. And I've just ordered a whole load more inductors for the Hotbox 60 and Hotbox 125i. So they should stay on sale this time. I have 100 and 40 heat sinks or something in the cupboard, which is plenty to see me through for a while. Um, so touch wood, uh, uh, part shortages are being avoided. But yeah, it's it's tough time. So I'm genuinely not saying this to push you guys to buy anything or anything, but if you really want it, you know, and it don't, and it runs out of stock, don't expect it necessarily to come back in anytime soon. I'll do my best, but that's the world we live in now. and. You know, most business books I read, they advise against holding too much stock. People shouldn't hold too much stock. It's a big thing um, because that's money you could be using to create new projects or to advertise or to do amazing stuff. And the world has shifted and we're seeing car manufacturers struggling now because they're used to just in time manufacturing where, you know, the, every morning the parts for the new cars come in and they put them on, they move them out. So they don't need storage or warehouse. So they've got rid of it all. Only that's not working anymore because surge and ebb and flow of stock is a nightmare. Anyway, so we're on it. I'm going to keep you guys updated. But for now, be aware, there are a lot of things running out of stock. Um, the jack sockets I use in the Trident ran out of stock recently. Genuinely, you know, but I looked ahead and I've got enough for the time being. And talking about that Trident, I am very pleased about this. So a good friend of mine... Gave me a few little transformers he had a tub of. And these are absolutely fantastic OEP Oxford electrical products. So these are beautiful little transformers. They're very, very beautiful. They're very, very beautiful. You see these things? They're really, really nice little encapsulated transformers. And I was having a hard time getting the transformers I used in the previous version of this. And I've had two lots of replacements and they both suck. Uh, they suck. They suck so bad. Blur, blur, blur. Um, they really, I wasn't sure what to do. I was kind of like, do I just put them in and maybe just admit it and lower the price? I don't like doing that. You know me, I like premium. And so I tried these and oh, ho, ho, instant love. Fell in love. Absolutely. I love these. So maybe two weeks from now, we're making them right now. So maybe about two weeks or so from now, there'll be a slightly new, slightly more expensive maybe version of the Trident on sale, which is worth the extra. These beautiful little transformers, they go all the way down. I mean, officially they go down to 30 Hertz, but I would say they go down to 30 Hertz without any saturation distortion. So they go to 20 Hertz, really. They go to five Hertz if you've got a low signal going through them. I mean, you might get saturation distortion, but that's some saturation distortion, nice. I mean, that's what you, you guys, a lot, of, a lot of people seek that out in recording preamps. You know, you, that's the whole point of these beautiful recording preamps is to get the genuine transformer saturation. And the long and short is that the Trident pedal, uh, I'll put a new front on it with a little logo so you can tell the difference between the, the, the standard edition, which we've had up to now, which is a great pedal. I love this pedal. And the Oxford electrical products transformer version which is just the bomb i love it and i mean there's just no there's no point in making the other one anymore this is the other one's good but this is so much better and i say yeah, i mean the price will go up a little but these have been frankly these have been cheap at uh the price they're at they've been at the lower end of my price they're 30 pound less than the quad screamer uh, so even if they went up to the same as the quad screamer which is the most i'll put them up to i wouldn't let them go past that i, I genuinely think you were, before you were getting a good pedal now you're getting the best this will be the best three output abw box 
There is. Sorry. Sorry, all you other manufacturers. Your, your gear sucks. It sucks. It sucks compared to mine. Um, I don't mean that. I love other people. I love all my... I love all the other gear people. You know me. I love gear. But yeah. Cool new Transformers. Seriously. They're just... Oh. I mean... Do Transformers sound good? Yes. Yes. You have a valve amp, right? You have a valve amp. And everyone goes, change the valve. Change. It's not the valves. It's the Transformer that makes it. Fact. Well, I'll witter about that some other time when I'm doing valve-related things. But honestly, your valves are far less important than the Transformer and your amp. They really are. Transformers, the heart and soul, and that's the heart and soul here. So it's, this is so cool. What else are we doing? Since this is vlog, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing these so to keep you guys updated. And yeah, they're long and they're waffly, and I will talk nonsense. We've got today. What are we doing today? Volume boxes. Terribly exciting. We've been making these for ages, but today we made 32 uh, of them in a day. Me and me and Reese together, and they're beautifully well made. We've really got our manufacturing sorted on these now. Which, yeah, I guess not a big deal for you guys, but what it means is I'll be able to stock these in Amazon as well as direct sale. Because what tends to happen when I've only got a few things, it's direct sale only. When I get a few more, it appears on eBay because I can manage that quickly. But Amazon Prime is great, but I have to have enough to send them to store in their warehouse. So it's, I can't. I mean, I could send them one or two, but then I'm going to have to like add shipping costs to them and other things. Like that. It's just a fact. So I'm going to send them a load. So these will be on Amazon Prime should you guys wake up at like two in the morning on a Saturday night. I need, I need a volume box. <laughs> you know, and I'm really, I'm really pleased with these. Um, the first early versions of these used point to point and they were actually unshielded, the first ones. And they got, I got away with it weirdly. Uh, they were all right. I don't know, this got away with it, it's fine. But I wasn't happy, so I started moving to shielded wiring and I used shielded point to point. But they were so time consuming to make and I can't ask you guys 40 quid or something, which is what I needed to ask for a volume box. I mean, it's not on, it's just a tool, you know, it's just, it's just does a job. It's a, so yeah, we switched to circuit board manufacturing these, but they're still handmade and it's a floating circuit board. So when the jacks move, the board kind of moves with it. The board's not anchored. So that means that you're never going to get cracked joints like you get on others. And it is a top quality heavyweight fiberglass board. Yeah, let me show you one. You know, I'll get you one. They're really dinky, but I'm very really pleased with these. So yeah, we do have... Oh, we do have little we have circuit boards that come in little packs. I shall show you the front and the back at the same time. And uh, I don't know if you see these little things on there. Go on, focus, you can do it. The autofocus cameras are so good, but so bad. There we go. So it's these wonderful, look at that screening. Can you see, see down that one? No, that one, sorry. That one's got all that screening on it, earth screening, uh, very thick, chunky tracks, very careful. So even though we're using a circuit board, these float so they can move with the jack so they won't ever crack and the screening on it means that they're screened they're screened anyway so they're, uh, they're very very quiet and very very sturdy i mean you can break these if you tried so yeah pretty cool pretty cool little things um and honestly it's probably the cheapest decently made volume box you guys are gonna get i'm pleased with it you know so not super exciting. There we go. So, so, load of them in Amazon. All the news. What else we got? I am working on the next Kickstarter, of course. I don't have much exciting to give you guys yet because at this moment I'm just really tweaking the early schematic. I haven't even made the first prototype. It's, I'm doing a lot of theoretical stuff. But what I did do is you're quite. You might like this. Last time I was developing something. This is the remnants of the quad screamer board. Can you see the four switches on there? The original four switches. So this is what I built the quad screamer on, you know, and some of the circuitry is still here. I don't know if you see this, but there's some germanium diodes here, some silicon. Uh, it's just pretty cool, but it's, it's a little bit flimsy. This 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 thing just falls off and gets in the way, and it was, it was all right. So so I got a new board and a new idea for this. Just to say, just, just behind the scenes about. So I got one of these. I'm gonna get a whole stash of these, but they're expensive. I want to try and keep a few projects going, one each board. I designed and 3D printed this very cool little purple gizmo hoof that clips on the back. So instead of the flimsy little plastic duhar on this, we have this cool thing which can accommodate six pots, a rotary switch, 
three jacks and I can put lots of little cool toggles in. So it's, it's just a nice development platform. I thought you'd like to see that for the magic of 3D printing. Isn't 3D printing amazing that you can just draw that and be like, I'll improve my work tool. Come on. Ah, oh. yeah. You know, uh, so that's, that's quite nice. I mean, this, this is it. This is the next pedal. Oh, look at all that functionality. But yeah, no, bro, it's, it's, it's chewing ahead soon. I've got something cool to show that'll be up there. So yeah, I mean, that's really it. It's just a, a Wittery Vlog post for the day to say, hey, we're here. So yeah, new Transformers for the Trident. Hopefully, volume boxes on Amazon. And yeah, we're making progress on the new thing. And I'm trying to keep ahead of the evil curve of doom of stuff that runs out of stock. Um, I've got... 20 maybe enough to make 20 more quad screamers so i should see us okay for a little while after that maybe hopefully things will be fixed you know uh i just keep placing orders and hope they arrive yeah, it. cool anyway so i have to go and start box up this mountain of boxes go home drink beer be a rock star and do rock star things so you should go do rock star things too see you soon Ciao.